Hello, my name is Mike Positopo. I'm an Oklahoma style fancy dancer. I'm a cultural educator, flute player, artist. Uh, I've been in the movies, and um, I'm here today to share with, the, with you song and dance. And uh, I have a, a helper here with me, my own daughter, youngest daughter, Heaven Joy Positopo, and she's a fancy shawl dancer and a champion dancer. I'll let her greet you in Pawnee. Uh, my name is Heaven. Can everybody say Noah? Noah. That means hello, Pawnee. Can everybody say OCO? OCO. That means hello in Cherokee. My dog, Heaven. Thank you. I want to explain um, our dances and songs real quickly. If you see me holding this drum here in my left hand and here in my right, a small hoop. Our dances all go around in a circle. A simple circle such as this. As you notice, all the things here always travel in a circle. The sun is around, the moon, the earth, and we have cycles in the light. We have a dance also that we do and known for as the hoop dance. But today I wanted to explain that when we dance and we're brought up in a traditional manner, tradition is very important to a culture. That is one way that we preserve uh, our, our songs, our dances, um, our stories, everything about our, our culture. And there's diversity among Native people. You know, you'll see dances, and I'll explain it a certain way. You may go to a different part of Oklahoma or travel up north, and you hear uh, those Natives uh, explain that same dance, but a little different. And that's okay. That, that, that exists among our people. And we all share, you know, uh, our songs with the drum. I was taught to have respect for the drum. Um, without the drum and the songs would be no dances. And so the first dance that we do is called the round dance, which is a friendship dance. And in that we form a circle. You go to the larger dances and you'll see circles within circles. And uh, the drum beat goes like this. Which uh, represents our own heartbeat and when we all come together as one people dancing the round dance, the drum represents, again, the heartbeat of our people. So we're going to do for you um, the round dance. presented in steps and uh, it just depends of uh, what group you're in maybe what role of dancers sometimes the elders and the older people dress in a, in a more traditional uh, style they'll do a slow 
broad side step, keeping time with that drum beat. And us, more younger people, will, will show more movement to it. And then if you travel up, up, up north, you'll see a cross step. So you see again, diversity. Now, we're getting ready to uh, go into some exhibition dancing. I'd like to bring Heaven up here and uh, let her share with you uh, about how long she's been dancing, when she started, uh, about her dance clothes that she's wearing. And um, because each dancer is able to ex express themselves, you know, uh, they're not just dancing for themselves. They're representing their people, their family, uh, and those that can't dance. So I'll uh, ask her a few questions. Okay. <clears throat> Heaven, uh, how long have you been dancing? Ever since I could walk. Ever since you can walk. Yeah. And it doesn't seem that long ago. <laughs> um, how'd you come up with this, uh, these colors and uh, uh, what you're wearing? Um, I don't know. Good colors, shiny. <laughs> <laughs> well, how I like to do is, uh, being an artist, I like to get out my pens and my colored pencils and sometimes some paint and uh, draw it out, you know, sketch it out, visualize it, see it before we go and make it. Uh, there I can be able to alter and design, you know, the, the tops and the bottoms. And then uh, there was a time, and as a family, we chose to, uh, to all use the same color because, you know, being a family unit, we go somewhere, we know we see those colors, we can find one another pretty quick. But, uh, what about your beadwork? Um, what color is your background on that? Probably a coral. Coral? Orange coral. And uh, what kind of design would you say? Is that a prairie design? Is that a, is that a tulip with uh, the big rhinestones in it? Mm -hmm. See, we like, to, we like bling in our dance stuff, you know, that shine. You know, we always say um, that when people ask us a question, you know, about our dance stuff, uh, how come you don't look like y'all did when you were uh, uh, back in the old books and stuff, school books? Well, we say as dancers, you know, we keep up with the times. You know, we have an array of different types of fabrics and, and uh, who made your stuff? Um, my mom made my outfit, my beadwork, and that's what made it work. Okay. Yeah, her beadwork was special made. Uh, her mother made her, her leggings and uh, one thing about being a dancer is that uh, not only do you want to, to be different, sometimes it requires a dancer to be a trendsetter. You know, if somebody likes something, you'll see it right off. You know, other people will come in and they'll try to, you know, copy what you got. And, uh, you know, I always like to say, you know, when, when if you started something, you know, you, you might start something that's going to, you know, be very popular. Um, Dancing and you're dancing. How do you uh, how do you do it? What do you feel when you're dancing? Do you, uh, your footwork and patterns? Do you, do you visualize the movement with the drum? Uh, uh, do you try to uh, to use uh, positioning structure? What I'm saying, as dancers, there's more to it than just coming out there and doing this. You know, there's you want to. To be able to to use your body and because when somebody's watching you see even this the simplest move when you're when you're dancing you, you you're putting your whole body your heart you know as a dancer for me for me it's a passion it's something that i had since a little boy and i try to instill it instill it in my children so when they go out there they're not just going out there and you know like you'll see a lot of dancers they they're just out there we're out there for a reason. We come to dance. We don't come to play and run around. We respect that circle that we're in because there's people watching us. You know, they may be put in the position of leadership there, like a head dancer or a princess or a head singer. And when they call upon you, you know, you have to be able to carry yourself, you know, with respect and dignity. And therefore, people will show that to you. Thank you, Heaven. I'm going to give you a song and let you dance. I'm going to give her a, 
a medium tempo, maybe a, a fancy dance song. This was the one that always, one of my favorites, um, and let her dance. Here we go. <laughs> different than it does today you know today there's more pageantry in it but back in the early days when I was a little boy uh, simpler times the way that the fancy dancers dressed um, the, the men they showed more more skin the aprons look at they're long now at one time they were were short just like in the days back in the 60s and early 70s when the young ladies were wearing mini skirts so back in the old days we had small breech cloths um, and back in the early, earliest times of this, the fancy dancers would wear the, uh, the old style pajamas that buttoned up one piece and they would dye those purple, green, yellow, red, just different colors. And then uh, when they'd start putting the, their dance clothes, what they used, their little small aprons, uh, they began to get intricate with the, uh, with the craftsmanship, the, the, the beadwork that was popular in that time. The bustles were one single bustle, and uh, this is a butterfly bustle. And um, they only wore one, but they did wear uh, big arm bustles. Now these are hackles, so everything's kind of kind of changed. I kind of want to show an era, but yet still keep up with the times. I'm wearing a bonnet here, and uh, only get to wear a bonnet because I was given that right, okay? Uh, good mentor, uh, Woodsy Watchtaker Comanche Champion, and his brother Charles Chavity. And Charles was a, uh, the last Comanche co talker and I did shows with him. And he told me um, back in the early 90s, he said, he said, son, go ahead and you start wearing that bonnet like me and Woodsy when you go out there and dance. He said, you, you've earned it. You've been dancing a long time, doing a lot of things. So you, you take that and you start dancing like that. And so I use a lot of their movements in that old style because, you know, that's how, what I watch. My dad told me, keep my eye on them when they're dancing and watch the crowd. So when we dance, you know, a lot of times people take that dancing for the people and, and, and stretch it too far uh, because of competition dancing. But really, when you go out there back in our times, they didn't have contests with big prize money. You know, it, it was small. So when we did, you know, we'd go out there and then Elders would come up and hand you a quarter or 50 cents, you know, that, that seemed like big money back then. Uh, <clears throat> so you're gonna see me uh, <clears throat> uh, do some of the old style movements in this uh, exhibition of old style fancy. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, my God. 
And then you'd have a little exhibition of the old style fancy dance. Now, the way we do when we dance is whatever leg or step that we do, we do it on the other side. You kick over here, you do it on the other side. You go around to this side, you go around that side. You point over here, you point over there. It stays balanced. And then you can work different footwork. An old move that we used to do was that foot wiggling in the front. See? Or pull on. Cross step. All of that. And that's what that dancer feels when he hears those songs. But oh. <coughs> to do a social dance called the snake dance. This dance may be interpreted again different, but in this dance brings us together. It's one. And uh, the steps is simple. The drum beat as that heartbeat. We lead with that left foot, and all those dancers, I follow the leader. As I lead this, heaven will be right behind me. So let me get the music ready, and we'll do the snake dance for you.
with the buffalo dance. And the buffalo dance has a little hop to it. Like this, you raise up off your heels. You know, some of the smaller children like to, to get off, jump off their feet, you know. Okay. And we say it's okay, you know, as long as you keep time with that drum beat and that you're having a good time. Dancing's about having fun, enjoying yourself out there. You know, so when you're happy, making other people out there happy. So uh, here's the uh, buffalo dance. Where we say uh, wardrobe malfunction. One second, heaven's hooking me back up. Sometimes uh, when I'm moving these strings, come off the wires on the, the bustles. Okay, here we go from the top. social dance. Let me get back into the camera. And it's called the two-step. And it's a custom that the ladies, young ladies, women, mothers, grandmothers, young daughters, uh, pick who they want to ask to dance with. Uh, usually the head staff, head man, head lady will lead it. And again, it's like follow the leader. You'll see different designs. The bigger the two-step is out there, the meaning more that are participating in it, you'll see designs in this part of the arena, over here, over there, over in that area, because of the, 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 the dancers, you know, they all kind of come out for this. And uh, so it's, it's a real fun dance, and this is called the two-step. to uh, share a little bit of flute music here. Um, flute music, very much part of our, our culture today. And we use this in storytelling. Uh, sometimes we, uh, flute players, will, will make CDs. And these songs come from the heart. And that uh, carries with them the traditions, the proud heritage, 
of Native American people, past, present, and future. We feel these songs, and uh, you have to be in a good frame of mind when you play. Uh, and uh, so here is a simple song from the small cedar flute. That song there has one of the highest sounds of, of the flute. And uh, to me, it's like birds, birds singing, since birds have songs. And this is a drone flute <clears throat> and uh, one song. Now we're at the, the, the closing uh, of our dance, and I think what we're going to do is me and Heaven, we're both going to come out real quick, and we're going to end this uh, with uh, uh, her dancing her style, me dancing mine. So here we go from the top.